October 14th, 2018. Well, just thought I would do an update video on the greenhouse. Uh, we had a frost advisory last night, so uh, I pulled all the uh, more sensitive plants in. Still have some rosemary and lemon balm and a few things out here. Uh, but most of the stuff is in for the season, or at least for now. Uh, plan on doing some upgrades in here, and I guess we'll just uh, step in and uh, have a look around. Hopefully my lens won't fog up this time. Almond verbena in flower. Avocados growing really well, really happy. Turmeric. A little bit of yellow in the leaves on that. Ginger is cranking over here. Lemon tree. Chaya, nasturtiums, tomatoes, olive. One potato plant. Oh, the coffee tree. Uh, this was given to me by uh, the lady who works at the coffee shop at JB Peel in Red Hook. And, uh, this tree was near dead and they put it out by the dumpster and I saw it and couldn't bear to see it go to the dump or landfill. And uh, so she's been asking me about uh, how this thing is doing and uh, I told her it's starting to shoot new shoots on and I keep promising to get some video for her so just show you here quick. We got new shoots coming on all over the plant actually. Uh, here here and all down the stem where did I see there's more and uh, and some uh, new shiny leaves growing out where the little bit of leaves that were left were so uh, this is recovering and coming back of course I put it in a foliar drench program immediately and gave it some love had a couple of volunteer tomatoes that came up in that same pot so I let them go uh, I figure it can't hurt and uh, I might even train those up the coffee tree in part. Uh, brought in some orange Hawaiian marigolds. Uh, just love the color and smell of these and uh, wanted to keep them going a little longer so I uh, actually dug one of the plants up out of one of the garden beds. Anyway, I mostly came in here to show you uh, there's a lot more space in the greenhouse now. Uh, I took out the two tanks that were on either side and the coils that were wrapped around the stove. We're left with just the 40-gallon uh, stainless steel stock pot uh, as a thermal mass for now. Um, I found a local source for 275-gallon food-grade totes, so uh, I'm picking one of those up this week, and that's going to go over in here in this corner somewhere, and then our thermal circulation pump will pump through that. I likely will not even use the coil in here. I probably will just pump directly from here and let it gravity feed back to the pot. Um, so that'll give me that big tank will be about 48 inches high and about 42 inches wide and about 48 inches deep and that'll give me uh, between 100 uh, let's see between 60 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit that'll give me about 229,000 BTUs of storage uh, and in conjunction with this pot I forget what the total is on this but uh, it'll make it so I can stoke, uh, it'll stop stoking earlier in the night and be able to get to bed at a more reasonable time in the winter time and uh, it'll help automate the greenhouse a bit and uh, it clears out a lot more space for plants which was the original intent of course and uh, so some uh, new modifications and changes coming up they're going to make this more efficient and better this year um, if I get to it and weather permits I am probably going to do uh, some glass on this upper section here uh, possibly on some of the lower section as well I gotta see logistically how, to, how that works a friend of mine gave me some windows and they will fit uh, basically the 12 foot on this east end of the greenhouse across here which is where most of your sunlight would come down through um, this greenhouse was built uh, between October 9th and November 9th of 2014 so it's four years old and so this plastic is starting to get uh, pretty 
tainted, shall we say, as far as light transmittance. So uh, we're not getting as much light through as we'd like. It's enough to keep plants going, but it's not enough for really good growth, that intensity that you need. So uh, I want to start uh, replacing some of these uh, plastic areas with glass where I can let in the sunlight better. So uh, I just wanted to give a quick update and uh, share this with my YouTube viewers. Um, hope you found this interesting. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want. And uh, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. And thanks especially to my subscribers for subscribing. Much appreciated.